Well, it was in September 1958 that uh, I walked onto the campus at uh, the University of Portland. The school at that time had an enrollment of about 1,400 students. The tuition was around uh, four, four to five hundred dollars. At the undergraduate level, we, we had the College of Arts and Science, the School of Business, the School of Education, the School of Nursing, and the School of Engineering. I taught in a program that, that I was very proud of. When I taught accounting, why well, I had a blackboard and a piece of chalk, but I, I feel I got the subject matter across. Father Waldschmidt, one of my greatest friends, the phone rang one morning. He said, I want to talk to you. Yeah, come on up. I said, okay. He said, well, you know, we're going to have some changes, and, um, and you're going to be involved in it. I said, well, whatever you want, I'm, I'm here. Well, I need a new executive vice president, and I want you to take that job, and I want you to be my right-hand man. I said, if you want me to be the financial advisor and the one that brings it, I am that person, aren't I? He took his papers and all that. They're yours. <laughs> what we faced at that time was uh, the most serious and difficult financial operation and future of the university. Million dollar deficit, 600,000 we'd lost. Enrollment had gone down for four years. Assets had not increased. He always kidded. He said, well, what, how many uh, crocodiles are out there that we got to swim across today? <laughs> What's our agenda? I balanced that budget. And never again while I served did we ever lose money in operations. In three years, we had not only balanced the budget, but we had eliminated the $1 million operating deficit. It was, there was no longer any burden like that on the institution. Through a lot of hard work and hard prayer, uh, I helped guide us up out of that to get that burden off us. And then also to be then part of a team that I went through all the buildings we built, the accomplishments we've made. I sat at those tables. I'm not involved day to day in, in the, the programs of the Pamplin School of Business today, but it's tremendous opportunities. They're getting a, you know, a first-rate education from a first-rate faculty. Now certainly through the years, the School of Business has grown and developed. We were able to bring the School of Business into the association called the American Association of Collusion Schools of Business. And of course, uh, the, <laughs> the building where we, we have the School of Business today in, in Franz Hall, I mean, with all the uh, equipment for, you know, the computer. We're very fortunate in finding some very important donors. I loved the place that I got the work. I just became, you know, a part of it, and, and my life switched from a punk instructor to all of a sudden you're in a dean, and then, then you're put up and you're an executive vice president and served as acting president. And of course, we thank every day. Ruthie has been a godsend to me, and the kids sent all four children through the university. I just came to love the institution. It provided me an opportunity to spend my life the way I wanted to spend it. I wanted to be a college teacher. I wanted to be in a Catholic university. I wanted to be able in my life to help the church. <laughs>